Put your feet flat on the floor, unless you're sitting in lotus position. <clears throat> and take your hands like cups and put those on your knees, near your thighs, wherever they fall naturally. If you like, you can close your eyes so you don't have to. And in your inner scene, in your imagination, imagine you're in a big open field and the sun is shining nice and warm. You're walking barefoot on the grass and we're all there together and we're sitting in a circle. At the center of that circle, we see a maypole and we see multiple color ribbons streaming down from the top of the maypole. And at this moment, go ahead and get out of your seat and walk to the maypole and grab whatever color ribbon jumps out at you first. Grab that ribbon in your left hand and in your inner scene, walk back to your seat at the circle, sit down and then wrap that ribbon around your index finger of your left hand and just gently but firmly tug at the ribbon so that you can see that you are tightly connected to the top of the maple. And then you look around and you see that we're all connected in the same way. It's a nice feeling. Now uh, we're gonna call upon multiple energies, energies that we need that we can call upon at any time from this high sea, this, this top of the maple, this place that we can always draw these energies from. And the first energy we're gonna ask for is healing energy. Now imagine healing energy streaming down like golden white light down your ribbon slowly. And then as it gets to the bottom of the ribbon, and imagine you're breathing in that light, breathing in that energy. And you don't have to know what needs to be healed in you. You just breathe in the energy and whatever needs to be healed will start or continue the healing process in you. And you breathe out any pain, any resentment that you're holding on to, anything that's weighing down or slowing down the healing process. As you continue to breathe in, just the right amount of healing energy for today. Next, ask for relaxing energy to stream down your ribbon. And as you breathe in that relaxing energy, feel it. Enter every part of you, every cell, every bone, every nerve, every atom in you, and just completely relax every part of your body. More relaxed than you ever thought you could be. And as you breathe out, breathe out any stressful thing, any stressful memory, idea, any interaction with another person that you're thinking about, anything that is preventing you from receiving the peace and relaxation that you deserve. And let us make relaxation a priority. And when we make decisions, what will help me to feel most, most relaxed? Beautiful question. Next to ask for cleansing energy to stream down your ribbon. <clears throat> and as you breathe in this cleansing energy, you just imagine any negative thoughts, negative feelings, repetitive thoughts, things that you keep coming back to, feelings of unworthiness, whatever patterns are muddying the waters and breathe them out and let this energy cleanse whatever needs to be cleansed within you for you to feel free, healthy, relaxed, forgiven, guilt-free, understood by yourself, 
whatever that cleansing means to you. And just enjoy that energy. Next, we're gonna ask for strengthening energy to flow down our rib ribbon. And as we start to breathe in that strengthening energy, we realize we're very tired. All of us are tired. Everyone's tired all the time. Feels like the world is meant to, to make us tired all the time. We have this idea of being tired, but we also can draw upon this energy whenever we wish, whenever we we're tired, whenever we think we can't go on anymore, we can call upon this energy and say, give me more strength, give me the strengthening energy and giving us the strength to continue to honor the choices that we've made to remake the choices, to remember the choices we've made, to restate the boundaries that we've made, to honor our own boundaries to ourselves, to honor our own word, all of the things that are hard to do when we're tired, when we haven't eaten. So it really begins with taking care of ourselves. So we're asking for strength. We're also saying we're going to take care of ourselves in the same breath. And finally, we're going to ask for love energy to stream down our ribbon, the most important energy. But this is the love that we're all searching for, that everyone is searching for. We're all looking all around the world for this love. And there's different kinds of love. There's conditional love. The love sometimes that we have for ourselves is very conditional. If I have enough friends, if I have um, a certain status in life, if I have this, if I have that, then I'll be worthy. And with more perspective, we know that even if you get the thing you want, you will still struggle with the idea of worthiness. So really, let's look at this idea of worthiness and Really, it's a question, do you believe you're worthy of love? Whether, you not, whether or not you are willing to accept that you are worthy of love or not, your high C loves you. That place deep within you where your unconditional love comes from, the place in you that is inspired by the transformation of stories of the human spirit the place within you that knows you deserve to be loved exactly as you are and the place within you that loves you exactly as you are your higher self your higher consciousness your true nature your spirit that part of you loves you right now exactly as you are no matter how dreadful you think you are and how unlovable you think you are, all of those thoughts and those feelings that we've learned, no matter what, your high C loves you. And if your high C loves you, no matter how dreadful you think you are, you can love you too. Today, you can make a choice that you are worthy of love and that you are going to ask for this never-ending, unlimited fountain of love that is within you, that is within every human being, you're going to ask for that love to stream down your ribbon, for that love to enter your life. And you're going to open your heart to receive it. You're going to free your heart from its prison and receive all of the love that your high C is trying to give you every day, all day. And truly receive that love because you are worthy. And let this be the first step of your self love journey. You can take your hands and put your hands around yourself, give yourself a hug. And right now you can say, I love me. I love me. Whether you're unwilling or not to believe it doesn't matter. You do it and you will see the benefits. You will receive the benefits of constant practice in this first step of just saying, I, I love me. 
And now you can put your hands back like little cups on your thighs and we're gonna do one more exercise. We're gonna think of a place in the world that really needs this love energy right now. And we're gonna ask our high C which, which place in the world right now needs our love that is experiencing harm, that's experiencing violence, that's experiencing a lot of grief, pain, frustration, fear, confusion. And we're going to take our hands in the prayer hands or namaste position and point outwards. And we're just going to ask for a high seat to send through us whatever is needed in that part of the world. We don't have to know what is needed, but we breathe in. We receive whatever is needed and we breathe out. And we're just sending whatever is needed to that part of the world. And that's all we have to do is breathe in and we receive what is needed. And as you breathe out, sending whatever is needed in that part of the world and just trust that that's, that's working. That's all we have to do. It's very simple. It's so simple. Many people say it's too simple. It can't be that simple. But if everyone did this every single day, it would have an effect. Now you can relax your hands and put your hands like little cups on your thighs or your knees. And finally, we're just gonna say thank you to Hi C for all of the gifts that we've received today and promise to return regularly and to ask for whatever energy we need at any given time or all the energies and to remember that we're all connected always through the maypole we're all connected in this way to each other so go ahead and relax wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes stretch out your arms and legs stretch in any way that feels good and when you're ready open your eyes again if you have them closed remind yourself of the date the time and your surroundings and the area around you and I'll say thank you to everyone for all the work that you do. I appreciate you and I love you.